G'day folks, today I've come out chasing some trout and redfin in this lovely little stream. I love this stream because it has a combination of brown trout, rainbow trout and redfin and you never know what you're going to catch. Rightio folks, in a recent trout fishing video I was chasing brown trout, I had a lot of follows, a few little inquiries, but the fishing was really slow. I found plenty of fish, but finding an active fish was almost impossible, I only hooked the one and he got off. I reckon the water was still too warm, so today I've come over to this other little stream that I fish occasionally. I love this creek, it's generally a bit cooler than that other creek, and it's also got a bit of a mixed bag or a mixed variety of species, so I've come over here to try catching trout again and maybe even catch a redfin if I'm lucky although normally when I do catch redfin in this creek they're quite small now there's my lure it's the strike tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub in lava lime color I've chosen lava lime because it's dark and bright at the same time if that makes sense if I was only chasing trout I'd go with probably a black and gold or something really dark if I was only chasing redfin I'd probably go something bright like a white bait pearl or a pink a hot pink but because I'm hoping to catch either, I've gone with something that's more of a neutral, not too bright, not too dark, in the hope that I might be able to catch both if I'm really lucky. Got him. Got him. Yes, oh, I lost him. There was a bit of weight in that fish. I wonder if it was a red fin or if it was a trout. He actually didn't fight like a trout. He fought more like a red fin. If that was a redfin, it might have been a good one. And if it was a redfin, he might come back, because redfin do that. If it was a trout, he definitely won't come back. Oh, something hit that. Something nibbled it again. That's a little something. A little trout and a redfin. There was a little trout and a little redfin just fly that in at the same time. <laughs> Whatever the first fish was, was bigger than both of those two put together though. Quite possibly that redfin will come back, but the trout probably won't. I'd like to know what that first fish was. That was quite a decent fish. That felt very redfin-like, the way it sort of hit and the way it fought. There's a little trout fly back then. Him. What have I got? A little red fin. <laughs> Look at that, eh? A little red fin, lovely little red fin on the Strike Tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub in lava lime colour. Red fin have always got these really dark, beautiful, pronounced colours out of clear water like this. <laughs> See ya, mate. Awesome. Whatever hit me the moment I got in here, that first fish was quite a bit better, a bit bigger. I've never caught a decent redfin in this creek. I've caught a lot of smaller ones though. So the fact that it didn't come back, there's a trout just followed my line in then. That was a redfin that took off that way and a trout that followed my line. Whatever it was that hit it on the first cast was quite a decent fish. I wouldn't mind betting it was a trout. It may have even been a brown trout. A little trout falling my liver, a little rainbow, sort of seen in front of that rock there. Let's get a bit of tr trout oil, Stry Tiger trout oil under the job, under the uh, under this little one and a half inch curl tail grub. Put it up the line a little bit as well. You can never have too much of a good thing. Got him. Another rather red fin, I think. An even smaller one. Yep. At least with the red fin, this one's smaller than the last one. At least with the red fin, I can hold him out of the water a little bit longer and get a bit of a uh, camera angle. With the trout, this time of the year, I've just got a couple of seconds to get him off and get him back in. 
The redfin are a lot much hardier fish than trout. Beautiful colours on these dark fish. He's only really small. He's obviously got plenty of energy. He released fine. <laughs> yeah, the trout, they just don't like being held out of the water this time of the year. No fish like being held out of the water any time of the year, but for the trout, that's a matter of life and death in the summer. Gotta get them straight back in, there's another touch. It was a float, God, oh, he hit it, he hit it. He's hitting it, he's hitting it. Look, I'm teabagging it off this tree here and he's just dancing around it. He wants it. He wants it, it's just sitting there, it's just sitting there. He said, nah, something's not quite right. NQR. And he swam upstream. Got him, oh, I missed him. He had another go at it. Wow. Got him. Oh, something hit it at the last minute. They're climbing all over this lava line. It's not hooking up. Try again. Now, now, now. Got him. Oh, I missed him again. I watched him follow it. Got him. Oh, how many fish can you lose in one hole? They're hitting it so aggressively, and I'm missing every one of them. Dude, I'm out of form, I think. The follow, little one. Another one. <laughs> Plenty of fish in this crate. Oh, he's on to me now. And I'm right at the top there. What if there's one up? Got him. Nah. Jeez, he hit that hard. Got to be a fish sitting up in there. Got him, surely. Surely. No, oh, he's following it. I've got one following. Look, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> There's a little rainbow, a little rainbow trout about 20 centimeters long. The sun's in a hard spot. Got him. Yes. <laughs> Lovely little rainbow trout. I'm not going to get him out of the water until I'm ready to uh, unhook him. Right now. You ready, rainbow? I'll try and get this over with in five seconds or less. Let's go. Hang on. Back in the drink. Back in the drink. Right, go. Uh, <laughs> back in the drink. Right, you ready? Ready, ready, under the water. Get out now. No. Nah. God, they're slippery. Can't get a grip on him without squeezing him too hard. Right, he's out. Unhooked. Show the camera. Lovely little rainbow trout. Beautiful. See ya, mate. Off he goes. He's slow, but he's got his balance. He's upright. He'll be fine. Once he works out what planet he's on, he'll be just fine. You've got such little time during this heat to get them back. There he goes. I just touched his tail and he took off. He's going to be fine. I just cannot emphasize enough that during this uh, the summer months when you're trout fishing in these streams how important it is to get the fish back into the water as quickly as possible. Don't even waste time stuffing around with a photo unless you're planning on keeping the fish anyway because chances are they're gonna die. I'm over the log, you goose. Here comes a fish and I'm over the log and I've got him. I've got him and I'm over the log. <laughs> it might be a nice brownie, is it? It's a nice brown trout. Look at that. I've got, I've got to go under the log because I cast over the log. Right on, mate. Come here. I'm trying to get you in and out in five seconds. You ready, mate? Not quite. Lovely brown trout. Here he comes. Oh. Come on, mate. Quick, 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 quick. The longer you're out, the harder it's going to be for you. Lovely little brown trout caught in the straw tiger lava line. So fast, stick. There you go, mate. He's off. He swam off well. He's going to be fine. He is going to be fine. He was in and out really quick. He swam off well. He's a survivor. That was exciting. Come on, got him. Yes, lovely fish. What have I got? A little red fin. Oh, mate, you hooked up in the black freezer, silly bugger. <laughs> oh, rainbow trout, brown trout, red fin. You never quite know what you're going to catch, do you? <laughs> See ya, mate. Quite often with redfin, where there's one, there's often more. So if I'm lucky, I might get another one.
got him. <laughs> it's a rainbow trout this time. <laughs> I'm thinking, what am I going to get this time, I wonder? It's a lucky dip. Right, I might quickly get you unhooked and back in the water. Unlike the redfin, mate, you haven't got much time. There he goes. He's gone. Lovely little rainbow trout of around 20 to 25 centimetres long and a nice little redfin in the last hole that I'm fishing on this trip. What a way to end a splendid little couple of hours walking up this lovely little stream. Absolutely awesome. Rightio face, well that's it from me. I have had a fantastic time. I've only been in this little stream for a couple of hours. It's just been wonderful and what a wonderful mixed fishery. I've got three redfin, two rainbow trout and one lovely brown trout and I've caught them all on the one lure which is the Strike Tiger 1.5 inch curl tail grub in lava lime colour. I've had a wonderful time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit me up on Patreon so that you can see some behind the scenes footage, some fishing reports and a few other odds and ends. www.patreon.com forward slash Robbie Fishing. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.